because it was like, I'm not excluded from this. Like we saw a celebrity, like a celebrity's passed away this year. Like high, like people that a lot of people respected and 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 looked up to, and then like you know I we get hit personally. And not only that, I I had a friend pass away early on in the year too, which was totally unexpected. Um, a good friend of mine, um, and so that was really really difficult to take in. Just you know when when you know I had I had to watch my friend's funeral from live stream. You know that was. Yeah. That was difficult. That was because of the fact of COVID. You couldn't, I couldn't show up. I couldn't, the border is here, here is closed. I couldn't just go down there. Um, right. So then from there and then going to getting into like, man, you know, we're, we're expecting and then boom, we got hit with it having ha, like, we got hit with us losing our baby. So that was, that was very difficult. And then, um, yeah. So, I mean, just, it's been a, it's been a chaos of a year, but I can say for a fact that God has brought me like, and plus like, I'm still sort of a newlywed, you know, I've only been married now for only a year and and, and, and a half of that. So that's still kind of like being that and a stepdad to four teenagers. It's like, all of that's still like, you know, kind of still new for me. Yeah. And um, so You're in a new country. Yeah. New country, new new friends like completely new friends um new church new like not new wife but new wife in that sense you know what i mean like, <laughs> a new uh, a partner you I mean, didn't have a partner, a partner before partner, <laughs> finally, finally, right a partner but <clears throat> you know it's just been it's been insane it's been it's been um crazy so yeah so so let me ask you about that since we have this this you know this kid theme like you you became a dad, a stepfather. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you call them your kids. You've already called them your right. kids on here. So what, what is that like? And, and what was that like for you? Kind of just like, okay, like these aren't my kids. And now all of a sudden I have four and they're, it's not like, you know, they're babies or they're young kids. Like you're walking into it and they're teenagers. Oh man. I was scared out of my mind. Are they bigger than you? Oh uh, yeah. My, my boys, are. <laughs> my sons are actually they're like, I play Call of Duty with them and my oldest son, he'll be on, I like, I'll be playing with some friends of mine. I'm like, Hey, my son's coming in. So they're thinking like, Oh, Hey, you know? <laughs> five -year -old kid comes comes in. Like, low, like the deepest voice you ever hear. And they're like, Obi, is this your son? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is it's my son. And you know, it's weird because some people are like, look at me and I'll be at the store with them. And they're like, uh, y'all friends or what's going on and I'm like no, no, no these are my boys these are my kids and like even enrolling one of them into like a co-op that we do for home because we do homeschooling but one of them yeah. goes, goes to uh, school like half of the day or like for like two classes and we, we were enrolling and the principal was kind of looking at me and my wife like this is your son like like he looks older than or he looks about the same age as you guys um so it's it's the that yeah it's it's been interesting though to say the least. I mean, it was very, I would say like being a step parent is like, and even just a step dad, is 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 um, it's un what's it called? I would say it's it's underrated. It's underrated. <laughs> um, to say the least. I guess that's probably the best thing to say because like you, I feel like we a lot of a lot of like even just getting married to somebody who has kids mm -hmm. and, and i know in the states it's different because like out here in canada i guess like they don't care about it it's not like a bad like not frowned upon because i guess yeah. people do it out here but in can in, in the states like people like cause i had people like i'm not gonna out them either but some of my friends were like are you sure you want to marry somebody with four kids like are you okay with that like it was kind of like some people would probably even go as far as like i would never marry somebody who has kids already that type of deal um and and for me i just didn't i didn't care i don't know i just didn't care about it i was kind of like i actually prayed to be two things i actually prayed for for a wife i was like i want to pray for, i actually wanted to be with somebody that was like the opposite race of me 
not to say anything bad about Latinos or Latinas or anything like that. Like I, I had no nothing problem, no problem marrying somebody if God gave me somebody who was like the same race as me. But I just generally wanted to be with somebody just different. I don't know why. Yeah. I just, I just, I like, I had a desire for that. And then I also prayed to be an instant father. I just didn't expect it to be four teenagers. Um, <laughs> it's like, oh, you want instant? <laughs> okay, I, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so that happened and um and yeah i mean I, like i said i had I, there was people that were kind of like man you know are you, are you cool with it you know i wouldn't be cool with it type of deal and it was kind of like nah, i'm straight with it like i had no problem with it i think uh it is difficult it's stressful it's hard and especially in the beginning especially when it's like the kids are feeling kind of like hey you're gonna take away my mom from me um you know, and, and we had to have it out quite a few times before we under, we both understood, like all of us understood, like we're on the same page. We love the same person for the same reasons. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we care about them. We care about that person and we want to do everything we can to protect her. And I guess that's the thing that we kind of like, we both had the same mindset. It was like, you know, they, they were more of like, I'm trying to protect my mom. And in the same sense, it's like, I want to protect all of you. And for me, my yeah. standpoint is like, I want to protect all of you guys. It's not just her. I married all of you guys. I, I care about you guys. So um, that I know that was pretty, pretty hard. And we still we're still on, you know, I'm 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 more, um, you know, I've passed. I feel like I've passed a lot of like points with them already yeah. to, to the point where it's like we're a little bit more, we're a lot more comfortable. Um, there's still those days where it's kind of like I don't want to listen to this guy. <laughs> type of thing they they don't care anything about uh, that i'm a music producer and that we have a studio down here which is like i would think like man some people would probably like kids would probably kill for this but they don't care about that at all um <laughs> so yeah that's uh that's pretty much um that uh, stepdad life to sum it up for me a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. It's funny that you got like instant teenagers and you're still, you're the, we're the same age. We're 32, right? So yeah, I'm 32. like, so like you're still like young and you could do stuff with teenagers. Like you, right. you, you posted, I think a picture of you playing basketball and you're like, you know, taught my son how to shoot hoops today or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son is, is like 14 months old. So I'm not going to be able to like shoot hoops with him at any sort of seriousness till I'm like at least 40 or 41. So I'm already out of my prime by the time <laughs> he gets to be a teenager. So you at least, you at least still get him in your prime. Right. I mean, in a sense, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's interesting, man. But like, I could, like, I'll be honest. I do wish that I had them young. Like uh, they were younger. I do. I, I actually like, if I'm being s straight up honest, yeah. I do wish that just because of the fact that, um, there was a lot of things that they didn't learn from a dad. You know what I mean? They Absolutely. they missed out. Yeah. A, they missed out a lot of. There was a lot of opportunities for a father figure to be there, and and teach them these things. And even like so much of schedule and um, just respect and type of stuff like that. Um, you know, with, with their with their mom, like with my wife, they're they're completely different. They're like my wife looks at them like they're still small. You know what I mean? I'm coming in, I'm like looking at them like, you know, hey, y'all are grown up. Y'all need to be learning this already. <laughs> so like for me, and, and then not to mention, we're different cultures, like completely different cultures. One, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, from America and they're, they're from Canada. That's one culture in itself uh, or two different cultures in itself. But then you got to, I got to take in the aspect like they're Jamaican Chinese and I'm, Oh wow! I'm Latino. I'm Mexican. You know what I mean. Yeah. So, it's 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 a huge. Uh, oh, my boy Jonathan, I see your I see your comments, bro. And no, Whataburger is better. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so in saying that, like in my culture growing up, it was different. Like Hispanic Latino culture is a lot different. We're very family oriented. It's very yeah. like uh, we we do a lot of stuff together, um, especially when it comes to like just holidays and things like that up here is just different like a lot of uh, like i wouldn't say like our household is like this but i saw a lot of people's households like this up here is where like the kids don't really spend a lot of time with the parents 
it's like the kids go to the room and do their own thing mm-hmm. um, and or like um the parents or the parents are just like always at work up here like i've seen i've just seen that like uh, so i mean i know covid's been a huge test for a lot of these parents out here but for us that was never my thing i always wanted the family to kind of be together and we do things and like we have right. family night on on saturdays and uh, and, and and like just throughout the week, we're we're always with the kids, like helping them with their work. My wife's doing an incredible job with that. Uh, I could do better at <laughs> helping that, but but you know, my wife just got to lock down on that. And um, but 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 in that, in saying that, like it's just been it's been um, it's just been crazy. Just to I, I wish that I would have gotten them younger, because then I would have been able to teach them a lot of those things though like uh certain things of respect certain things of just like how to speak yeah, absolutely. Things, like manners mannerisms things like that mm-hmm. um being mindful of others things like that i feel like i'm teaching that now and like you know it's kind of hard it's a little bit more difficult because they already got their personalities and they're kind of like well yeah. i already know but like you know i i still i still get it in with them i still have like really good talks with them i've still been able to uh teach them a lot of things so um but yeah, yeah. Do you, do you let them touch your your hats and sneakers? The, yeah, I mean my well the sneakers they don't wear no, but um, the hats I let them borrow them and stuff like that. And uh, I've given some of them clothes, but I mean I'm pretty big. They can't they can't wear what I what I wear. <laughs> so you're doing a good job. So yeah. so do you, are there are there you think any stigmas that come from being like in a blended family like this like um like do like i guess do most people i guess you kind of shared that a little bit like they kind of have thoughts like oh like what what are, what are they doing what are you doing but like and then you kind of like no like this is what it's really like like you can love you know someone say, else's I kids would, and yeah, stuff like that yeah for sure um I, I think it's the biggest depiction of the gospel for me. Like, um, well, uh, what's her name? Jeannie? That Jeannie. Was here. Jeannie that was on here. She she hit the nail on the head when she was talking about adoption. And, and obviously we see the clear picture of, of, of Jesus adopting us, right? But in the mm-hmm. same sense, that's what it is of being a step-parent. You learn to love somebody hard that, that even at times don't deserve it. You know what I mean? Even if they're like treating you like crap and... Um, you got to learn, like, I've learned that patience. I've, I've, I'm still learning a lot of it too at the same time, but I'm not perfect at it at all. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, but at the same time, like, I think for me, it's totally possible of, of, of loving somebody who's not your own. Um, but I would say it's, I would say this, it, it, it's, it's not, it's not for everyone. I, I, I guess I could say that. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I, I, I could, I'm trying to be fair on both ends because some people, I could be like, oh yeah, go ahead. Go. Because it is, it's, you're going to have, it's going to test you in a lot of ways. Like um, I've had a lot of talks with people uh, whenever I'm like, oh my gosh, did I do the right thing at times? Sometimes when I overthink it, but um, like Dayton has been, y'all mentioned Dayton earlier and I'm mentioning yeah. him again, but he's, he's been one to talk to me about, like um having a stepchild and everything like that because he had some other things go on with him in his life and we we talked he talked to me and he gave me a lot of uh, advice on that I, I had a huge conversation with my guy d tall i don't know if he's still in here but he yeah i actually, saw his name before yeah d tall he actually me and him had talks about being a step parent too it's it's interesting man it's so interesting because even with with what happened to my with with me and my wife having our miscarriage um I didn't realize how many people went through that. Like when, when I posted that I went through it or we lost our kid, a lot of people hit me up like, Hey man, we, we just lost ours too. Or this happened. And it was people that we all know that I was like, man, nobody, like told you wouldn't me. Have like, I wouldn't have thought, yeah. uh, but it was really comforting to have that too. So like in the same aspect, like I had people like uh, that were step parents and, um, talk to me about the same way. Um, Dylan Chase was another one because you know his oldest is uh, he's that's his stepson. So um, in the same in the same sense, I've had like a lot of friends reach out to me and help me with it. But in the same way, if you have if you're dating somebody, I wouldn't I would never put like I would never be like 
tell somebody, oh, well, think twice. Like, I would be like, no, if God is calling you to love that person. Yeah. You need to understand that you got to make that commitment to that child, even when that child don't want to. 